the season we've put together for the coming year is really all about family. In many ways, the subject of the plays are familial, and also a lot of the artists who are working on them uh, have been here before, have wanted to come back, and uh, I'm grateful they did. Our first show is an adaptation of a 17th century comedy by Pierre Corneille called The Liar. You're going to see the director of our production of The Liar, Penny Metropolis. This has to be one of the funniest and brightest contemporary comedies I've read in a very long time. It's this sort of buoyant piece, very human piece, celebrating a magnificent liar whose name is Durant. And we fall in love with him in spite of ourselves. That certain night our next play is actually the second play of the season. It will be directed by our associate uh, artistic director, David Kennedy. It's a beautiful family drama comedy uh, called And a Nightingale Sang. It's this remarkably warm, funny, poignant story about life on the home front in England during the Second World War. There's a really kind of convivial spirit in this play. There's also a sense of beautifully observing life as it is actually lived. So moments of great warmth and humor will be juxtaposed against moments of real uh, poignancy so that you really get the full spectrum of human experience in this play. And that's what makes it so extraordinary. Our third production of the season is this world premiere by Pete Gurney called Love and Money. And we are thrilled to be co-producing this with the wonderful Signature Theater Off-Broadway. We just had a reading of the play there on Monday with Maureen playing the leading role. The central character, my character, Cornelia Cunningham. She's a woman of oh, so many colors. Uh, she's. She's emotional, she's funny, she's witty, but at her heart is this desire to, as she says, expiate her crime of having too much money because she feels that money has done a lot of harm. I always love coming back to Westport because it's been very good to me over the years. And I'm very proud to have a play now done in this theater today when the theater is a much more precious endeavor. And now, here's John Tillinger to talk about <laughs> bedroom farce. The plot is so complicated and so, uh, so extreme. It's three bedrooms and the shenanigans that go on and these couples are intertwined. They're, they're uh, related or they're involved or they were involved. And what I like about it is that he, he gets to the truth of how people behave when their backs are against the wall, when things are going out of control, and um, how they cope with it in a comedic way. The last play of the season is very special because it's a celebration of the birth of our Roxbury neighbor, Arthur Miller. It's very, very powerful, dense, and I think kind of liberating in a way. It's about Jews in America basically dealing or trying not to deal with their Jewishness at the prelude to the Second World War. So it deals with these really important issues about identity, about history, about how we let the world affect us or reject those feelings and keep them at bay. I really believe that there's something magical about this room and about this space, about the relationship to the yeah, audience. It's terrific. That's incredibly comfortable. You feel mm -hmm. like you, when you come back to Westport, you feel like, oh, I can take my shoes off and I can just relax and we're going to have a great time and we'll learn new things and there's just a warmth about it. There's something I love about it and so I'm always delighted to, to come back here. So I hope you'll enjoy this season. Thank you so much for being here tonight. I really appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs>